All right, we got T. Lou here. She's a he, he she is a new client. And I don't really do the foo foo pets. Foo foo is requiring any scissoring, stuff like that. I really don't do those types of pets. But this is a referral, and she really wants a better groomer than where she's been going. And I always take in the referrals, you know, if I can. So I know you guys may have seen the Dotsons that I groomed. Two Dotsons, one black one, and one brown one. Well, that's who referred. That's Brian. He referred this owner to me. And when she got here, she's like, Dee Dee, who's, uh, who's the veteran? And I was like, oh, that's me. You know, and she said, oh, we're a, a Marine family. <laughs> she said, my husband retired Marine. And her whole family, herself, her brothers, and everyone, and her dad, everyone was retired Air Force. And I said, oh, well, thank you so much for your service. And, uh... I was like, oh, I'm glad you're here. You get it, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to do, I'm just going to come in and do a sanitary. Since some folks were really wanting to see a sanitary rear end, I'm going to focus on the rear end sanitaries a little bit here for you. Okay. It is not another very cold day. Not a cold day, sorry. Actually, it is cold. Uh, we went from 80 degrees yesterday to 44 degrees this morning, and it's pouring rain. Hi, T. Lou. So this is pretty loose for me. I kind of like it tighter than that. I'm going to use the dog up stand here as I get in the sanitary. Just kind of have an assistance. Just going to clean out this area here. She said she really wants the length on the body left alone so and now keep in mind I have done poodles but and I've done a lot of standard poodles but I don't have a lot of poodle clients that are not you know old or disabled I'm gonna skim that tin down the leg just a tad just in the sanitary area, right around all that private area stuff. Okay. T. Lou is quite tall. I'm gonna come up the tummy here because I like to chisel out all that. Nice, soft tummy here. Kind of red in the tummy though. We'll keep an eye on that. I asked her, do you normally do clean feet? Because it looks like she gets teddy bear feet. She said, yeah, it just took me a long time to get in with you. It took her a month to get in. Okay, we come up. Just want to take note of just, you know, us starting out. Just a little red right in here. Okay. Use your 10 everywhere you need to use your 10. I'm going to use my 10 in the armpit here. She's looking down a lot because the groom loop is loose. You want her to look up, we have to bring the groom loop up a little bit, like right about now. I'm going to do, have her look up. There we go. Can you look up for me? Good girl. I'm going to do a clean feet here. Let's see what you guys are looking at. So I got my tin and we're going to check the heat. It looks good. I'm going to come up.
Okay, we all have our own way of doing things. And here I'm going to take a, and I'm really good at trying to save time. Really, really good about that. Oh, that's so crazy. Look at the table. It didn't look like it was straight. And it's really hard to tell because she's a darker haired pet to kind of see this through the camera. But I'm going to take. I'm going to start under the ear here. I'm going to clean out her ear a little bit though first. So we see this, um, this line here. I'm going to take this clean face here. And also I was like, are you sure we're doing clean face? It's awful grown out. Real red, raw, real red in there. Hi, you're going to be beautiful when you get done. Okay, no hair cutting on the body. She wants the body to stay the length it is. But you still have to do something. And here, she wants this very short. And that's personal preference. So we're gonna take this with a two guard so I don't have to do too much hand scissoring there. It's gonna save me some time. I'm gonna do, not a two guard, I'm actually gonna do zero guard first. use a, uh, which is what I believe this is here, <clears throat> 5 eighths. Down. So I'm going to go down with the hair, not reverse. I'm going to go into the body with it. Here I'm going to go up. Side of the face. Because I'm going to come blend the body at least. Go up here.
Now keep in mind, I'm going to do this uh, miniature poodle in about an hour. Um, this is not, you want to spend a couple hours with the animal, then you'll have a different look. But I am known as a one hour groomer. So if you don't understand that, then you can uh, critique my work all day long. But at the end of the day, we're done in about an hour. So I'm going to take this because, you know, I'm doing a haircut here. But I'm keeping the length really close to basically what it was. Hand scissoring, I think you need more time to do a bunch of hand scissoring. So, if you have the time and you want to do longer grooms, by all means do that. That's your thing. But this is a way to do a miniature poodle cut using cards and being done in about an hour. I love the fact that she came in, you could tell she's brushed at home. She, Mom said we brush her regularly. Love that man, it really made me happy. She said I wasn't feeling well this weekend, so she didn't get brushed all weekend, but she does get brushed. And you can tell. You can tell right away. Mom did say she likes it years long. Personally, I would bring these up a little short, but I'm gonna leave them long. They're not my favorite to leave them long, you know. Cute, short. And I'm going to come back and do her feet in like a foreguard here. Just the top here. And we're going to even go shorter on the bottom. got a poodle that does not like clean feet at that point I would actually tell mom you know hey we're not gonna do clean feet she doesn't like her feet groomed here but she did let me finish her clean feet so I have gone through where we've done even sta standard poodles or not standard poodles or standard poodle mixes if they're gonna be highly anxious and aggressive and mean during a grooming because of the clean feet you need to change something up if it really pisses them off, why do you keep pissing them off, you know? They don't like it, they don't like it.
Funny how she'll let me do her toes, but she doesn't like going, letting me do the arms. I got my 40 here. I'm not digging on the top, but I am chiseling out what I, you know, making it real nice and cleaned up. <clears throat> don't, don't, no, no, don't, don't. No, don't, don't look at me like that. No, no. No, don't look at me like that. Remember, I've never met her before. You never know. Never know. You never know what might happen. If you get that feeling, use a muzzle. Okay. There. Good. Nice and rainy outside. The way it splits in her head here, it splits right in half. So if you go a little shorter, it likes to be heavy and split right in half. You can see all these uh, from the past. They're all cut. See how it's already been cut here? All this is cut like this. You can just follow along or start it over and tell them you don't have to grow out phase right here. Interesting, right? Separate the ear from the top knot. You can, or you can blend it all. It just depends on what kind of style you're trying to do. Why does everything have to be so perfect? Why does everything have to be how you want it to be? 
Why can't it be the artist that's doing it? Why isn't there enough respect in the grooming world to be like, every groomer has their own flair, their own touch. Shut up already, you know? It's like telling an artist that has their own artist, like, oh, you're not doing it right. Yeah, right. I'm doing exactly what I want, you know? <clears throat> I'm doing exactly what I feel like I love. Don't tell, tell me how to groom. <laughs> Keep in mind, it'd be nice to learn a little bit of what everybody does. But this pet is here on my table, right? So have fun with it. Who's to tell you what you can and can't do? I think it was a mistake that started different things, you know? Oh, we made a mistake, but look at that mistake, how cute it is. Sometimes a mistake is a blessing. We're gonna come back in here later and fix some stuff, I don't like that. But at least get your shape before the bath. Oh, that's what I like to do anyway. And I'm trying to go off of somebody else's uh, lines too from wherever they were before. Which may or may not be a good thing, you know? Create your own lines. Using pet silk shampoo is my favorite. The smell is amazing. I'm using a conditioner and a shampoo to retain a pretty long coat smell, and then we'll top off with the cologne. She's uh, we're very moody. some tearless on her face. She's moving up quite a bit.
She was tough to blow dry so it goes in hand in hand like it's not cage drying you don't put the dog in a cage for an hour so you think about like this dog should know how to be blow dried she's a poodle and she's how old you know she's not used to being hand blow dried so that tells me she probably blow dried in a cage a lot Hand blow dried, the dog should look at you. She really struggled with it. She looked down, she didn't want to be blow dried. She hated it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do a brush out here. I did my leave-in conditioner, kind of give that a soft touch. Poodles that are groomed, that have really gorgeous, this, it takes hours to train them to stand and to be still and to let you do those things that you need to do. And then it takes also hours to do them. So you want a gorgeous top knot, spend two hours on it. You want a gorgeous, gorgeous body, spend, you know, spend an hour and a half just on the body, an hour on the body like that. Hours of brushing daily. You can't even have one day of break. You need to grab your dog out and brush. And breeders who are showing and stuff like that, uh, you really have to open up your eyes if you don't know what's going on. How those dogs end up looking the way they do. You have no idea, and I'm not going to be the one to tell you. You need to go look and research it yourself. If you think that this is hard on the dog and this is rough, please, please go look into the training and maintenance of a show dog. You have no idea. Or people breeding their dogs. Oh, they're not usually, they're not running around the house. They're usually kenneled. That's why they, when they retire them, they finally get a break. She's moving a lot, right? Touch that, move there, touch that, move there. I'm mentioning that because that all plays a role in speed. And poodles are, they have the most requirements for grooming. I'm not even done here. I have to come back and scissor. There's a lot more to it than just a regular dog. So your poodle grooms should cost more than your regular, you know, shave down, that kind of thing.
I'll come back with my two guard down the neck, just right under where I would use the ten blade. <clears throat> Phone just blowing up, man. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Just kind of fade that. Take, like, kind of taper that down into. And I know they want to leave the coat long, but really, it looks like she's got this huge neck, doesn't it? So, bring that down with a two here. Okay. Come get your seven. We're going to come back to down through the feet here. Edge up all this seven here. Just taper that down. Now bring your seven reverse there just a little bit and bring it back down. Same thing here. If you would stop moving around, stop moving around. Stop. Stop moving around. There's a lot to do here. You keep moving around. Put your foot down. I'm not done there, I gotta come back. I'm gonna finish this one here.
You fallen asleep? Are you falling asleep? <laughs> huh? Are you falling asleep? I just prefer to do the head last. It's like everything else is done. I don't have to touch anything else, and the head is like the ending. So we're, I wish I could go the opposite. It probably would be better because when a client walks in, you're on the face. You know, that's the last part. And that's usually when they'll walk in is when you're almost done. And not that I don't care they walked in. It's a, if it's a pet parent. It's, it makes a big difference. The head's hard to work with when it's someone that the dog knows is standing there. It makes it quite dangerous if you have your scissors here and you're trying to trim, but the dog's acting like an animal. Jumping and all that stuff. We're almost done with the details, and I'm going to come back with my 40 and just double check the feet. This is my ten. Let me see. She's kind of looking at me and pushing with me, but. Look that way. Look the other way. Look that way. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. That's what I need. I need you to look that way. Yeah, hey.
Okay, I'll tell Mama. I'll tell Mama. Watch how far down you're cutting, what's, what's going in the, the scissor, depending on the size you're using. I'm going to mention growing, growing this area out. It might take a three or four months just grow all this out because I kind of followed what was happening before. But I would have preferred all this be long and this, uh, this is all kind of where that top knot goes instead of the, like this, this, not down the ear here. So I'll ask her if she wants to do that. She said she wants to come once a month, so we'll see since she's a new client. She looks gorgeous.
how calm she got now. The well, last thing I need to do is just double check the tail. Make sure we got that as round as possible so we can kind of move into the roundness of the round tail, pom pom. We need some more hair, so I'm going to tell her we need to grow some out and brush daily. All those little wiry hairs sticking out, stretch them out a little bit, get them out of the way. Oh yeah, we're looking good, right? You <laughs> keep it up. She's not gonna keep it up. Can you keep it up for a picture? And take a picture for your mom. Ah, let me see. Can you keep it up for me? I am going to let her know I prefer her to get a dental soon. She's got one tooth here. It looks like it's, it's going to just fall out. Can you see this? That little tiny tooth right there on the top. barely there. Okay, let me see this side. Let me see this side. That or I'm going to tell her about some Pets Life Gel. Okay, alright. Thanks for watching DD Curry with My Favorite Groomer. I appreciate you guys. Pick up your apparel at MyFavoriteGroomer.com under the apparel section. Thanks for watching me do this not a shave down groom <laughs> poodle miniature poodle for all those haters out there and for all you lovers out there thanks for supporting us shopping with us contributing to our channel to make sure we stay here uh, thanks for the good vibes you send me all the emails uh, the square cash anything you've done to help us grow and be be here I really appreciate you I just have to say thank you and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to buy all your supplies at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. All right, and I just want to show you, man, we got these new shears in, which I just used all over her face. And we're going to have our name on them, My Favorite Groomer. So if you want to support us, make sure you're watching out for our, the shears. We may or may not be bringing these on, so I will let you know once we do a mass order. And we may have these. This is what I used on her face today. Gorgeous, gorgeous scissors, man. Gorgeous. My favorite groomer. Thanks for watching.